Across the APIs, platform event patterns, looking at processes communicating inside of Salesforce, communicating with external subscribers, and even communicating with a Kafka event bus. Welcome back to another session of Across the APIs. We're looking further into platform events, a great mechanism for communication between processes. We're gonna be looking at use cases for how you could do it with inside of Salesforce, dealing with external direct subscribers or publishers, and also if you wanted to bridge onto another event bus such as Kafka. So here is a basic diagram showing that you have Salesforce and you could have multiple processes inside of Salesforce. And a way for them to communicate would be to use platform events. So you could have process one that could be publishing a platform event, adding it to the event bus on a specific uh, you know, custom platform event. Process three, or even process three and four or more could be subscribers. And they would be subscribe, subscribers to that channel and receive those platform events. And you can have multiple publishers publishing the same platform events or different platform events and many subscribers. This creates a decoupled system where there is a separation between the publishers and the subscribers and they're not tightly bound. And we use the event bus as the bridge with the event as the pattern. And so this way you could have two different processes or one processes triggering five others. There's many, many patterns you can use following this scheme. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna expand upon this. So in this case, we could have external subscribers. These could be external direct subscribers, external processes that reach into Salesforce using the streaming API, or they could use the PubSub API, and they can receive those uh, platform events. This could even be MuleSoft. Now we could also have external direct publishers. So these could be processes that could be publishing platform events. And it's a straightforward mechanism to publish the platform events using the REST API or even the bulk API. So we can have external direct publishers, external direct subscribers, and they would be using the event bus kind of as the, the switching station. And those events could also be going simultaneous with those internal processes, processes one, process two, three, and four. So we could have a blend of communication across internal and external processes using the event bus as the main switching station. Now let's look at a more advanced architecture. So there may be architectures where you have um, that systems where there is an, an external Kafka. And let's talk about how you would connect that in. If you had an external Kafka and you had a Kafka set of Kafka publishers and a set of Kafka subscribers, then their communication between each other is going to their event version of the event bus, Kafka. And they could be large volume of traffic. And you might not want that traffic brought in to Salesforce's event bus. So you're gonna have, you could have a lot of traffic exchange using inside the Kafka, like a local, a local delivery, local subscribing, local sub, uh, publishing, and you want that contained. And then Salesforce will have its own event bus. And you may have that previous example of internal processes and external direct subscribers or publishers. But you may want some Salesforce platform events to be published onto the Kafka event bus. And you might want some Kafka events to be subscribed and republished on the Salesforce event bus. And in this case, you get what's called an event bridge. So an event bridge can be both a publisher and a subscriber 
on each side. So what it would do is if you wanted a platform event to leave Salesforce and go into Kafka, you would translate the Salesforce event to the Kafka event, map the fields, and then you would have the event bus subscribe to Salesforce and then publish on Kafka. So that would be a forward that direction from left to right. Now you could also have the Kafka, this event bridge be subscribing to Kafka, map to a Salesforce platform event, and then republish that on the event bus. So this is the purpose of the event bridge. The event bridge will be doing a mapping between um, left to right platform events and right to left platform events. And this way, only the traffic that you intend to go between the two event bridges would go. So the Salesforce events would stay restricted to the Salesforce event bus unless you explicitly mapped it using the bridge and vice versa for the Kafka event bridge. So these are the patterns that you've been using uh, for communication. Taking a look, straightforward intra Salesforce process communication. You could be doing Salesforce plus direct publishers and Salesforce plus direct subscribers. And you could be doing the same while adding an event bridge. And this shows you that you can expand and grow upon your uh, event structure. And this can even be added later. This does not have to be added on the initial implementation of your platform events. So this can show you how platform events can serve multiple use cases simultaneously. Interprocess with direct external subscribers and publishers, and even within the architecture of a larger multiple event bus architecture. So these are great choices you can have and you can start small and grow larger. So platform events are a very flexible mechanism for inter-process and inter-server communication. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for joining Events Everywhere. Join me again, same bad time, same bad channel. Subscribe to YouTube, Steve TechArk, and www.stevetechark.com. Thank you very much.